Well, here we are at my Earlington storehouse and we are having our sale. It is the Highway 41 sale this weekend. And wow, has a lot of stuff gone already. I have been bringing in leftovers, overstock, storage units. And so I've been transforming it into displays that look like this instead of that first pile that you saw. And it seems like the response has been really good so far. We decided this outdoor tent would be $3 each and have all the vintage costume jewelry and clothing. But wait, George, there is no costume jewelry. Well, that's right, because the very first dealer to come here bought every single piece. They are all gone. We sold a Vera Bradley purse. Almost every vintage piece of vintage fashion, with the exception of the fur, is gone. So, wow, this has been a barn burner. And we've only been open a few hours. This is the dollar table. A ton is sold there. We have a couple of hold piles here. I always like to put things under wraps or behind something so other people won't get into it while the people shop. But everyone's inside and I need to get there too. Here's what the $5 table looked like this morning right before we opened a couple hours ago. We've had a lot of dealers come and buy a bunch of stuff off it. Red Wing Pottery went and figurines went and people are seeming to be pretty excited about this. They are having an antique show in town about three miles away. So of course we put signs up near there. And so we're getting people from that coming over as well as the people on the Highway 41 sale. And here we go. I forgot that I had the music on when I opened the door, so I had to voice this over, but it was a rollicking house full of people all morning. We did sell an oval table that was here and Again, we've sold a lot of other things, but you know how I am. I like to pack it in, so it doesn't look like a lot is gone, but it's actually been a pretty good morning already. I'd say we've probably done twelve to $1,500, and there's still a lot of neat stuff here. Only sold the one piece of furniture so far. It's a little hard to sell furniture when you have it covered with so many things. So as things start to go, we're going to lighten it up. You will recognize some of these things have been in antique spaces. It's time to close out those consignments. So at this point, we are selling them at the prices that the people who come to a highway sale will pay. And the highway sale people, you know, they're looking for bargains. The Pilgrim Column bases will probably end up out west, but sometimes I'm just willing to take a discount on something that's big in order to not have to try. Now, last year, we sold a whole bunch of this kind of stuff. I love this Santa thing. I just haven't figured out where to put it yet. He'll be great as a Christmas display once I figure out where there's room. Last year, Soda Fountain sold really well. This year, instead... They've been buying china and dinnerware and lead crystal. This is how full this table was when we opened a couple of hours ago. A woman who is in a Facebook group called Beautiful Table Settings. There is a Facebook group with 175,000 participants called Beautiful Table Settings. And people buy this sort of thing and arrange wonderful table settings and then take pictures of it and they also buy and sell. So there is an active demand for beautiful tableware now. And I'm so happy to see that again. All of the hall china that was in here. This is the before picture in this corner. All that apple is gone. So is a bunch of the Fire King ware. All of the mugs except one that they forgot and left behind sold. I haven't been able to film very much. It's been very busy and you see lots of holes developing. This entire shelf of stuff is gone. All of the cameras and lenses are gone. Let me show you a few cool specific things before they sell too. Out on the porch we have a sled and that thing that looks like a pizza shovel is actually a snow shovel from Persia and we have the Ryder Cup bag on the left. Hundreds or more online. So we put 75 on this and they do a different one each year. And this one actually describes the fact that in this case, Europe beat the USA. Now this is an estate sale and we do have some leftovers from other estates or estates that couldn't have sales. So we have this nice gas grill for 25. They sell for about a hundred new. So that seemed like a pretty fair price. Did have some regular estate sale items. This table full of tools. Well, this is the before picture. It's all sold. It's gone. I took it down. There was a big rendering kettle and iron there and a big plastic toolbox, and those both sold too. So we are moving the stuff. There was a big Paiute ceramic base here. It's gone. 
offers a very pretty pair of cranberry flash electric lamps here and they just left i've got to box this stuff really quickly because somebody already bought it all and people are getting into it toys have been big sellers we sold all the monopoly games and all the shirley temple dolls a girandole that was here is gone a big fancy thing with prisms uh so this has turned out to be a pretty good sale and it's been really fun I've been spreading out paper just to fill this because this whole wall got pretty empty. Furniture that was in the middle is gone. A lot of these mugs are gone. So it's definitely been a successful sale. It's It was really busy because the highway sale is the same time. I'm filling the wall with new pictures. Got to get a nice big picture to cover that ugly window treatment. Outside here, the Persian snow shovel that was turned into a clock is gone. The sled is gone. The Ryder Cup golf bag is gone. I like it. It's awesome. You're right. We're buying it, so. Yeah. <laughs> and now the fun we'll part. We'll about loading it later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now what do we do? The big Christmas Santa display, which I just loved but couldn't find a place for, it's gone. So I'm very happy. It's been fun. It's been busy. Wow, what a day. We did as much in one day this year as we did for the whole sale last year. And last year was pretty good, so I'm really amazed. We had a couple of really nice YouTube viewers come. Uh, one couple all the way from Minnesota, one gal all the way from Illinois. And I understand we have more coming tomorrow. I don't know what they're going to see because a lot of the stuff is gone, but hopefully we'll have something fun for them. In the meantime, I am tired and foot sore and hungry, so what are the things you do after a sale? Do you go eat? Do you go sleep? Well, no, you go antique shopping, of course. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but actually, it's the only chance I'm going to get to see the little show that they are putting on at the Archery Center on the edge of the town where I'm doing the sale. I put signs leading from my sale to there, and they put signs leading back to them. And so we've been trading customers all day, and I heard some things about the show, and I thought I should go take a look and see what it's like. <laughs> So this is the first year that the local tourism promotion board that does the Highway 41 sale has organized an antique show. A lot of these dealers are not familiar to me, even though it's just a little show in my area. Look, there's not the same color, but it's no. a cat. <laughs> See this? Flower power, yes, it does look cute. Bad. It looks a lot like gold dead, but that's when they were starting to get shiny backs, so you're right. It's very, it's a very shiny. Yeah. And textured in a funny way. Ooh, that's a big chunky thing. Yes, it is. Oh, it's eating this other thing. I think it's, it's eating the flamingo, yeah. Zeno, like a lot of people, had never seen a topsy-turvy doll. These are deliberately done so that you can tell stories. Sometimes it's Little Red Riding Hood and a wolf. And it's always a surprise to see who will be underneath the skirt. Bunch of Pyrex here, of course, because that's really popular in Christmas. So this is the first time this show has happened, and it's small. And small shows are great because you can see everything and then go back and remember where you found it. But I've got to say, the quality looks really good so far. I'm seeing lots of things that I like and that my collectors like. Lots of cool pottery miniatures. It's definitely going to have more of a country feel, as you would expect being in this part of the country. Neat old Hamilton and Jones. So we expect to see multiples. A couple of those. And of course, local people are going to be the most interested in ones from this area. 1850s. Pretty early to have the logo and a good design. Fine pickles. We take cash checks or chickens. See, we missed out. We should have gotten chickens. When I'm at a new show, of course, I like to know whether it's going well because maybe I'll participate sometime in the future. And so far, they said yes. Oh, yeah, that's a very fancy. Yes, amber. Yeah. Lots of 50s kids were made to play accordions in many colors. Very breasty tire stand. Interesting old office machinery. Oh, yeah. Stencil maker. This is made outside of St. Louis back in about 1920, I would say, to make stencils. He's got this big, he just dragged this big counter thing. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, well, they actually dragged a bunch of uh, big fixtures in. Ah. Uh, yep. The Colonel Sanders Bank. Oh, is it a plastic? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right out of the 70s. The old brass candlestick phones seem like they're pretty well priced. 
look at these. I'm looking for a Cola Eleven Man. Hmm. Yeah, old. Uh, Three dollars each. Old stock. That's kind of fun. RC. Ah, LBJ has spoken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's funny. I've had these before. With these galvanized water coolers, the most important thing of all is that it have the label. That's the important thing. And that it's a metal spigot rather than plastic. All American City Owensboro. Oh yes, yeah, they've got a lot of interesting local ephemera. There's like a few Kentucky ones. Yeah. And what did they have on them? About 10 or 15 each? Oh, I don't know. 12, Eight. depending. Yeah, seems like about the right price for those. 15, yeah. 12. I think they're fun to collect. There's, Ever since I met that one dealer who specialized in them in Florida, I've been more intrigued by these. And then there's the little ones, yes, Excelsior Springs. What's that one underneath the big teal look, look one? Look here. This one's this one's good. That's a good that's a bright one. Oh yes. It's not a it's kind of it's a day glow. Day, but... Museum of Science and Industry somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Look, Weeky Wachi. Oh, that's great. How much is that one? $12. Yeah. $1,500 for the old 7-Up sign. That's got to be even scarcer than you would imagine because 7-Up wasn't actually that popular back then. He's got some great signs, actually. Oh, the here's... Green River Neon. Oh, this one is... Oh, this Black one and is... white cab. This one's good, too. Which... Yeah, these are really cool. I have not seen these before. Oh, and Mammoth Cave, yes. Yep, Echo River one. That you, this would be good to get because you, get, you can't do it anymore. You can't go to Echo River? Yeah, that's nope. right. Those are out of the 80s, obviously, because of the Nancy Reagan slogan. This is from an old hardware store. And at $1,600, you would have to have a purpose probably in a store yourself to use it. But it's a great display. Watkins products, nationally advertised. Ooh, and the old Lifesavers display is really cool. I like the old Lifesavers display. That's great with the glass inserts. That looks like it's got about, got to be 30s, maybe 40s. It's in good shape. It's in great shape. We have 165. That's probably not unfair for what it is, especially with that glass. General Store Cheese Slicer, 175. That's neat. So, oh, and uh, what is that in there? Cool. Maybe Out of Greenville. Vendor. Huh. Interesting. I haven't run into her. Stop big damn foolishness. That's great. This is when they were trying to not have the damn. Yes, the bubble clock. That's a hard one to find. Well, they do have neat stuff, I have to say, and their prices are fair for what they've got. It's just that you would have to have big space and a little bit of something. Neat old store display. Cute folk art bunny bench. That is sweet. The Hermitage, my favorite place. Yes. <laughs> I still haven't toured it. I it's haven't been able to get excited about it. Old hardware display. This is great. Look at this. It's got all of the markings for the different sizes of stuff that you're getting on it. This is priced at $17.95, but that is really a neat piece. You can tell this was a barn find because one side is a lot cleaner than the rest because it sat up against the wall. Thank you, Call again. Tasty mm -hmm. bread. Yeah, they've got cool stuff. Sterling beer. And what it does to you. Schnickel Fritz. Dicker Frau. That is all. Yeah. What is Schnickel Fritz? Schnickel Fritz? Sterling beer, 1917, leisurely aged. Is das, is, is das nicht eine Schnitzelbank? Ja, das ist ein Schnitzelbank. That's the, that's the song that you sang at the Schnitzelbank in Jasper, yeah. Vienna. Ah. The restaurant, the Schnitzelbank. Really? Yes. <laughs> we should go there, if it's still there. Kurz und lang. Hin und her. The song sings best when drinking sterling beer. That's cool. Some people really enjoy buying quilt tops. Sometimes they just use them for decoration, and sometimes they'll actually go ahead and quilt them with the backing. Oh yes, the old Kodak measuring cup for the chemical back in the teens. Well, this is fun. It's good. Well, that just is all. <laughs> it's my favorite thing so far. Are y'all local? Yes. Dawson. 
Okay. How's it been for you? That's what I heard. That's great. Yeah, there's so many people traveling the highway, so it's a great time to do this. That is great. $22 with the bail seems like a good price on that. Oh yes, protect the panther. There aren't very many left to protect. Oh, this one says it plays. It could be, well, it could be cleaned up is the point. I'm, you could use Simichrome and polish that out. Does this one want? It says only 40 bucks. Yeah, it's an interesting style. Oh, the phone radio, yes. That's right, yeah, this, this piece here, yep. And your cigarettes, that is cool. Gosh, I haven't seen one of those in ages. That's really fun. Does this one work? Or have you tried it? Probably it needs batteries. Yeah, yeah. I never think to bring batteries to these things. I've got to start doing that. You can see the way they laid this place out that they have room for maybe another 12 or 15 vendors. This could turn into a bigger show. And this guy already told me that he sold a few signs for five to 700 a piece, so he's doing well. Gracie, Kentucky is a very small town, so this is going to be a pretty obscure rock there. I like the handle too, all of that makes that a little more special. And then this is from Paducah and it's pure apple juice and vinegar. Hmm. This might be the most flawless looking one of these I've seen in a really long time, but I think it's had a repaint, but it's a very good one. Lots of Pyrex here, which is so popular now. BC glasses. I'm still a fan of this whole butterfly. $55 on the big ewer. Tony the Tiger glasses are $10 this set, but this may be more contemporary and cool looking though. And here's a bunch of Ransburg tin. Made in Indiana, the same people who did the cookie jars. I have to say on the tin, it actually seems like it adhered better somehow. And we'll pick up another one so you can see the artist palette signature. There we go, Ransburg, hand painted, made in Indianapolis. And the really great piece that you don't see very often, or at least I don't, is this double here, the double drawer. Probably a bread and cake box. Seems like it's in great shape. The Wagner, or is this a Griswold? Depends on the age. But it is a heavy duty cast iron lamb cake mold. And then they have the bunny here. I actually see the lamb more than I see the bunny. Great for Easter cakes, of course. Scotty Doorstop. I just sold one of these recently. They have 70 on there, so I think that's about what I got for mine. It makes me feel better because I had 100 on it and it took a while to sell and I took what I thought was a big discount, but I guess it was about right. 65 on the scale with the big heavy weights is good. Cigar mold. The better graphics make this a little more interesting. <laughs> TV lamps. I've been selling those pretty well at the estate sale this weekend. State Farm Insurance. People like old boxes and drawers out of sewing machines nowadays. And I like this lightning rod because of the cobalt blue ball, though that's a replacement there because you can see how clean it is. But they're often necessary because, well, they were outdoors. They get hit by hail. $16.99 on the Trident. Some sort of a street hockey stick. Oh, the paper mache uh, four ninety nine, but those are old stock. Yeah, but is it? It's each. Yes. Both in plow. That's sold. Interesting. Wonder if we can see how much. Nope. They took it off. Now this woman has a lot of kitchenware and little collectible things: salt and pepper shakers. This guy with the big ears. I think this is all her parents' stuff. She said she's selling off. Oh, and look at the set of three chipmunks that would hang on the wall. Stratton for Governor, GOP. I used to see those a lot in the 40s and 50s. Oh, funeral home in Quincy, Illinois. Your old haunts. Not the funeral home, though. The Wilton Mortuary, because it is Peoria, Illinois. That one actually is priced a lot less. I wonder if it's because it's... Well, that seems to be working. I wonder why this one is half the price of the others. Yes. <laughs> this 
Lots of interesting farm stuff, but I like these advertising banks with the cold spot sold dice ears, $15.99 on that. 55 gallon drum. Rival dog food. Party line phone. Kellogg. Oh yes, that's right. It'd be an extension maybe in an office this also. Is Kellogg. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, not the same Kellogg as the cereal, but yes, they were a big phone maker. Glass telephone signs, about $40. That's a reasonable price for those. I have to say the prices seem fair so far from what I see. Lots of tobacco tins. Definitely something you see here in Kentucky. Okay, here we go. Oklahoma City, Gallup. Which is the one that's $4.99? I'm just curious. Oh, Marineland? Okay. Yeah, you don't see those. Dealer plaques for Charlotte, Charlotte and Huta. Charlotte and Huta. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I know they had a Charlotte Beach who designed things for them. Maybe it's her house is what they're and saying. It does, like a, a hut. Paul and Electric, Henderson Electric. That's an odd thing. This is by the pottery, interestingly enough, and they recognize that, so they have a price at 27. I did not realize that they did that sort of advertising stuff for people. Works in the history of cigar making. That's an interesting cigar box. You could hide in the bookshelf, I guess. Advertising ambles and souvenir ambles are very popular now, of course. Albany, New York. 1940s little U.S. military lady. You know me and my smalls, and when I see a cheap price, of course I have to look. This advertising paperweight is great, but it's just a little damaged there. Otherwise, that would be a good piece. Certainly priced well for what it is, though. Battlestar Galactica cards. I'll show you this thing over here. Do you think these would uh, sell? Does anyone care about the uh, first version? It's $4 for the stack. So, um, I don't know who they're. They're not in. Terry's Restaurants. There's the 1970s birthday club. I mean, they're not, they're not sealed. Another thing people collect, actually, the old pocket protectors. There's refreshments, right? Cool cigarettes, Salem, and Craftsman, huh? Oh, yes, the old transparent tape when that was a new idea. Tampa Nugget. I bet that would sell in Florida. Tampa Cup Cigars, too. I missed that one. I'd walk a mile for a camel. Bell System would be the one that might appeal to a phone collector or something. Oh, Tell City and 7-Up. But I see that one. I think I'll take those. And then we have this guy with the, uh, ooh. Mm -hmm crazy eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> that mournful face. I wonder what the story on this is. I know. Is it? It's ceramic. Is it like a homemade thing? No, I think it's probably made in Japan or something. Oh, really? And just airbrushed because That's it was inexpensive. New, right. Mm, I don't think it's brand new. I think this is, were these 70s? They, purple? well, they seem, it seems to me like maybe somebody painted that part, but I feel like these were advertising characters i'm not sure i mean the shape of the bench looks like a 70s thing to me i don't know i haven't seen these before copper boiler here for gosh that's a good price actually on that 28.99 now it's a little beaten and it's not really copper it's a painted tin but that's still a good deal oh i've always liked those how much is that have a price ah uh, I mean, it's a little screen, oh, no, six, seventeen dollars. Boy, for the Anthurium, that's not bad. I know the canisters go for good money. Yeah, no major scrapes. A few little dents. The price seems good. It's Desco wear out of the fifties, and I do like the Anthurium because of my interest in Hawaiian flowers. So I think I'll take that. Well, a lot of those brands that they quit. Enough. Well, no, they're old this enough. This one has but, a code. Yeah, seventies. But the thing yeah, is, is that. I think a lot of these brands, when they stopped making them, they just had a stack of them somewhere, or if they changed the design, because I find these fairly often, actually. Yeah. 
lots of coffee tins. People definitely like these these days. Sabarin never sounded too delicious to me. $19 on that though, because it's in better shape. Condition matters a lot. The ones that are really clean are around $20 if they have the lid and the ones that are not. Mm, look, it's like what they need to put cream cheese or cottage cheese in nowadays. Yes. And then we have Happy Thought Coffee. So if coffee gives you happy thoughts in the morning, that's helpful. Sandwich loaf serving tray with nine delicious serving sandwich fillings. Ooh. Yeah, in two to eight years, that's probably how long it lasts. Oh, I see, it's a toy. What is that? Well, there's supposed to be fingers, Vienna sausages. Serve your friends sausage sandwiches. That is so strange. Sears crock pot. Oh yes, $19. I'm sure that was made by West Bend. It looks like the same shape. This is neat, the Crocus uh, coffee thing by Hall China. It was to match the Hall China and you could get the uh, coffee the display. Hair dryer too. Oh, the hairdryer, that's fun. Bonnie Breeze. That's neat, Model 800. I'm sure that's chock full of bad stuff. Probably a lot of asbestos in those old ones. I wouldn't recommend using them for synthetic and natural hair wigs. Sling twist exerciser. Some cool old guns. Stamp tin, you don't see those in very good condition like this usually. 50s era trip, tip trays in the $20 range. Oh, and then there's a $4 tray of little advertising things. White Track Pontiac, that's when DeLorean was designing their cars and they got wide and low and really cool looking. A little advertising knife, lots of ad stuff here, including toilet paper rolls, so you could remember what store you had to go back to when you ran out. And then next to that are Kent cigarettes. Those are like the ones that I had when I was a kid and smoked candy cigarettes. It did not make me become a smoker. And then this dealer here has a variety of things. Bar stool, license plates, a theater chair, a very primitive old chest there. Lots of trunks, laundry cart, and letters. Good old Fire King tulip bowl set here. Three of the sizes, Fire King, yes, on the mark. And of course, a lot of cast iron, which we expect here because people really love it. This is a different name than we usually see Ozark out in St. Louis. We're used to seeing Wagner wear, although this pie-shaped mark is a little bit different. And the pie logo does go for a little bit more. Oh, very good. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no, this is interesting. Well, that's spring. I think they're there's all... An, no, there's, there's the autumn. There's an autumn. Oh, thank you. Yes, I yeah, appreciate that. Be, I, I'd like yeah. to learn a little more about the subject because I, uh, I find it interesting and I, I could stand to know more. So thank you. That was very nice. I'm always a fan of anybody who's willing to share information and the collector society is, and this fellow is the person who is selling it. And he obviously knows his stuff and is involved with these groups of people. So I am looking forward to reading that. The tulip handle, gosh, I've never seen that before in outside of a book. That's really, really something. That's the, I don't want to sell it. Right. Well, I don't blame you, though. An unknown foundry somewhere in upstate New York. Uh, okay, I was going to say it didn't look like anything I'd seen before. 1880s. Wow, that's fantastic. Very interesting. Well, some interesting shapes for your gem pans, too. I like this one, too. Eureka Griddle. This is a flop griddle. Oh, I see where you pour it in and then you just... You make, make it over here. Mm -hmm. and then when they're half done, you flip them you over. flip it while it's solid enough to keep and then it you there. Can, then you can keep making three more here while these are cooking oh, on this side. Oh, how smart. That seems like a good price on the Erie. It is. Yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty inexpensive for having, especially with the porcelain handle. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, the knob on that. I guess just so they could flip it without burning their fingers, right? It seems pretty logical. Yeah, it's a nice, nice piece. That is really great. 
Oh, well, thank you for sharing this with You're me. You're welcome. American standard. <laughs> Way to go. Well, sell all day and then buy. <laughs> That's how we do it in this business. But this is a, for a small show that just happened to form because they thought, well, let's take advantage of the fact that people are coming into town for this highway sale. It's actually pretty interesting and there's some good stuff and I'm being followed by somebody. Oh, and look right across the street from the show is a very important sign. I'm working on an encore because I have two other people who are viewers who want to sell stuff with me out in the yard here. We're thinking of doing a fall sale. I have some storage units in Florida that need to find a place to go. And I cannot have an estate sale at my mother's house because it's a condo and there's some things there that need to be liquidated. So I think we're gonna do this again in a few months. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one. Also click thumbs up to like this video and check the description for information about our Patreon, our memberships. We've got a lot of different levels with different perks and bonus videos and early content. Also, please do check out our website, theantiquenomad.com for appraisal help. And we'll see you again for more adventures in the antique and vintage community soon. Bye for now.